Hey, what's going on, guys? It's you here, and welcome back to a brand new video. And I know I haven't uploaded in a while, but in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create some cool layer styles for your thumbnails, um, or just in general for you to use. So uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Now, the first thing you want to do is type something in. Uh, let's just, for example, just type in text. Uh, here is the text. We're gonna do multiple, so we're gonna put them in like one in each corner, real quick just to show you guys some examples. Well, I'll change the color in a moment. First thing you're gonna wanna do is click on blending options right here uh, and click on inner shadow. Uh, once you do that, you can select the same color but just make it a bit brighter. Um, there you go. And then you do the same thing and go to inner glow and then click a similar color. So then it does that. And then you can increase the size a bit. So you could do something cool like that. Uh, normally it doesn't look very cool with green, so let's just do it with like yellow or something. Uh, and then we make the text a similar color. So as you can see, it's like it has that effect on it. So if I make this background, let's say black. It'll look like that. Well, that's orange with yellow inner glow. So you gotta do like a different color. Don't do the same color, else it's gonna look weird. So like, here I'll copy the layer style and put it on here real quick. And it does. That's how it looks if you put the yellow on green, kind of thing. So if I put like, uh, yeah, let me let me just use the yellow one for example. Um, let's do like how to. It doesn't show that you while you're typing it, but it'll be there. So. Um, And then what I would do is, I normally don't do this exact style obviously, but what you could do is uh, make this like a grayish. Do the same thing with this one, but make it like that and then make it 10% would look all right on this. So you would have this and then You could type that, and this is how it would look. It would look really, really clean on here. So, do that. But what I would do is whatever the keyword is in your thumbnail. So let's say, right for this one, it's layer style. What you would do is make the one that's a separate color your keyword. So, let's do this. Select the same color. And then it looks like that. So then you go there and you copy the layer style from the white one and put it on here. And then you just have to change the color to white. I just didn't put a color overlay. You sh you could do a color overlay or gradient overlay. Anything really works. Um, so if I put a let's say if I put a gradient overlay, I could do that uh, and just like decrease it a bit so it looks like that. So for example, we're gonna get the Photoshop logo real quick. Uh, we're just gonna make the, the thumbnail for this video uh, really fast. I'm gonna click on my preset here. Uh, on my over here, I have a blue preset. So I'm gonna click on that. It has a color overlay built on it, but we don't want that, so I'm just gonna disable it. Um, and what I do is, if it's let's say it's a blue or yellow, I get. If it's a darker one, I put a brighter blue outline on it, so it looks like that. Um, and if it's like a yellow logo, you do like a. Uh, it's bright yellow you make it like a darker yellow if it's a brighter or if it's a darker yellow you put a brighter yellow vice versa you know what I'm saying um, so you do that and this is basically you know what you would use like the layer style for you could use this for anything um, to be honest but I think it personally looks better on thumbnails you could also do something cool with the text which I learned from literally doing Fortnite thumbnails back in the day you make a little curve here with your pencil uh, you just arc it and then connect it at the bottom and then you get a paint, uh, bucket you fill it and you clipping mask it and because oh I put it on the wrong thing you clipping mask it to this one and that's how it'll look so there you go you can make it look like that Down 
over this one. Stretch it out a bit because this one's longer. And then clipping mask it. And I would turn it down a bit because it's way too dark for all three of those texts. So I would make it look like that. I, I kind of removed the inner shadow, most because I think it looks kind of weird if in this in this sense. It just looks weird. So I took it off and it looks a, a little bit better. I, I actually made the changes and you can make it whatever you want. I'm personally gonna do this and make it like the same as it what it is right here. And it looks way better. There you go, there's a the thumbnail for the video. Um, I might change a few things around. Make Maybe move this over to the right a bit. Uh, because it's too close to the edge, so it'll be like there. And then we can have a little, we can have a little arrow pointing over here. So let me get the arrow from my thing. Do something like this. And then I have another layer style. I can just do that. There you go. So we're gonna move this underneath the rectangle. So then it looks like that. So it looks like it's coming from underneath it the rectangle there. Um, let me fix the layer style a bit here. Or let me fix the drop shadow. There you go. That is how you make a layer style in Photoshop. I know it took a little bit. I also made the thumbnail. Uh, well, I guess it's a two-in-one tutorial. I thought you had to make a mini thumbnail. Um, but yeah, this is the vid end of the video, guys. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll be sure to talk to you guys in the next video. Later.